Good evening, teacher Daniel. Hello, good evening. Good evening, uh, teacher. I'm Carmen Yusef. Hi, 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 hi. Give me one second. I will be right back with you. Okay. All right, okay. How are you today? Good? Very good, teacher. Very good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Today's Thursday and it's very hot. It's hot, hot today, no? Hot and without rain. Yes, yeah, hot and no rain. That's true. We need, it's hot and no rain, it's true. All right. So how is everybody, everything okay? Yes. yes, sir, I'm okay. Okay, let's do the. Hold on a minute. Like a virgin, touch for the very first time. Do you like Madonna? Yes, I like it. Yeah, Madonna's cool. Do you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Okay, so look, here we're going to learn adverbs. Today we're going to learn, it says, sequence adverbs are used to help describe a progression of events, often used in recipes or instructions. Sequence adverbs such as first, 
then next after that and finally contain information about odor actions and create natural traditions in writing in lesson from english teacher joe signs practice describing recipes okay so let's look at the video Hello everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to describe how to prepare food using sequence adverbs. For example, you'll be able to take a recipe written on a piece of paper and be able to explain it. In order to illustrate this idea, let me play an audio program so that you can see how this topic is used. This is really easy. First, you put a little oil in a pan then heat the oil. Next, put in the kernels and cover the pan. When the kernels start to pop, shake the pan gently every few seconds. In about a minute, the popping will slowly stop. After that, turn off the heat and pour it into a bowl. Finally, put a little salt on it and enjoy. I love this snack. First, Take an avocado and mash it. Next, you chop half a tomato and half an onion and add them to the avocado. After that, you chop a little cilantro and add that in. Then, put in some lemon or lime juice. Finally, add a little salt, pepper, and of course, hot sauce. Mmm, it's great with chips. A friend from New York City taught me how to make this. First, cut it in half, then toast it. After that, let it cool a little and then spread cream cheese on it. It's really good for breakfast, but you can eat it anytime. Now let me get started by explaining what sequence adverbs are. This topic is quite simple. Sequence adverbs are words that will allow you to explain processes to others. In this case, what we want to do is explain food recipes. But you can explain any other process using sequence adverbs. So the sequence adverbs that we will cover in this lesson are first, then, next, after that, finally. Similar to the audio program, in this case, we can see that there is a recipe. So on the top, we see the recipe on a sheet of paper, right? We see three tablespoons peanut butter, one banana, two slices of bread, two tablespoons butter, uh, and we want that to be melted. And what we want to do is we want to be able to take this recipe and then we want to use sequence adverbs to explain it, right? And so we use the first one first, mix the peanut butter and mashed potato together, then we use another sequence adverb. We use then, lightly toast the slices of bread. Next, spread the peanut butter and banana mixture on the toast. After that, close the sandwich and put it in a pan with melted butter. And finally, fry the bread until it's brown on both sides. And what we basically did was that we organized our ideas and we explain, in this case, a food recipe. We use sequence adverbs to do this. And so as I mentioned, we use first, we use then, we use next, we use after that, and then we use finally. And um, what I would like to point out here is that all of these words are synonyms. What this means is they're the same word, right? They mean exactly the same thing. And the reason that we want to use different words is because we don't want to sound too repetitive. So for example, we don't want to express this food recipe in the following way. First, mix the peanut butter and banana together. Then toast the slices of bread. Then spread the mixture on the toast. Then put the sandwich in a pan with butter. Then try the sandwich until it's brown on both sides. We don't want to do that. So therefore, we use different words to explain
And what I would like to point out when talking about this topic is that first should always come at the beginning whenever we want to explain some sort of process or we want to give some sort of recipe. Finally, should always come at the very end, so that should be your concluding uh, step. Then next and after that are interchangeable. This means that you can uh, start with first mix the peanut butter and banana together. Next, toast the slices of bread. After that, so they could be interchangeable. There's no rule that says that uh, then needs to come after first. You can use those three interchangeably. And the last thing that I would like for you to do is to think about your favorite food recipe. And I want you to write down all the ingredients that you're going to need. So for example, we have, in this case, three tablespoons peanut butter, one banana mash, two slices of bread, two tablespoons butter, and we want that to be melted. And then you use uh, those um, sequence adverbs in order to explain your ideas. So for example, we use first, we use then, we use next, we use after that, and we use finally. So I would like for you to do something similar, but explaining your favorite food recipe. Okay, let me go back here. Mash, two slices of bread. Okay, do you see first? Do you see where it says first? Mix the peanut butter. If no hablo, no hablo yo. Do you see where it says first? Do you see? Hello? Yes. Mix okay. the peanut butter. Yes, I do. Okay, good. So this is what we, I want to study today. First, then and next. Thank you. Mm. Hold on, let me do it. Let me do it. First. Okay, first. Number one. To make instant coffee. Basic steps, lo básico. You need water, coffee, and sugar. sugar. <laughs> okay. So, first. First, put the water in the stuff. Okay, good. But I want, I want you to know the difference between then and next. Then is immediately. Yeah. And next, yeah, el segundo paso. Okay. Okay, so very good. So to make coffee first. Put the water in the stove. Put the then, water in the stove. Then, then. Uh, mix the coffee with water. Okay. Next, uh, put, uh, put sugar, sugar and milk. Okay, and finally, <laughs> drink it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> finally, serve, serve yeah. it. Yeah, good. It doesn't necessarily, you, you don't necessarily have to say after that. Um, so you can say, you can say first, then, then uh, him. finally. Yeah, you can say this. Hey. So you can. Bah. So, yes, you can say first.
Wait a minute, guys. Okay, so first, then, next, and finally. Let me see. Roxana. How do you make a maruchan soup? First, I put water on the on a oil on a bottle, a, a can. I don't know how to say. I put water, and when it's in a bushion, I add it uh, to the glass with the maruchan. Next, I... It is milk, yes. I'm sorry. What? No, no, I'm sorry. I was reading Iris said milk on, on the coffee. Oh, ah, okay. <laughs> Next, I put the... Um, why tapo? <laughs> okay, good. But listen, like this, reduce. For example, first... Boil the water, boil, that be it. Okay. Boil the water. Then put the water in the soup. Okay. After that, oh, next, cover the soup. Okay. Three minutes. And finally, eat it. Okay. Yep, yeah. but you see, um, Keep the vocabulary simple because if you want to give a technical explanation, it's very difficult. <laughs> okay, so one more time. Can you please explain to me the maruchan soup? Okay, um, first I put water in the water, then I add the water to the glass with the soup, and then I Next. Wait, wait, wait. Pour... first you boil the water. Yes. Okay. Then, then I add the water to the glass with the soup. The soup, soup is in a glass? Yes, it's a glass. Really? Yes. Well, the maruchan I have tried it is like that. In vidrio. No, it's a... Uh... Oh, how do you say vaso? It's not cup. glass. Cup. Glass. Oh, okay. Glass puede ser vaso, pero glass is vidrio. vidrio. Or, or the recipient or container. Uh, or container. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, then I cover the container and finally I eat it. Just that. I put extra. I put onion, lemon, and chicharra. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very good. All right. So that is the maruchan soup. How do you make the maruchan soup? First, you boil the water. Then you put the water in the cup, in the container. So wow, pero antes que nada en la sopa, maquito. So first you boil the water, then you put the water in the, the soup. soup. In the soup. Next, cover the container. The container. Maybe two minutes. Three minutes. Mm -hmm. And finally, eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Francisco. Hi, teacher. Hello, Francisco. Hello. <clears throat> Please tell me how to make jello. Jello. 
No, no yellow con Y, con J. Yellow. Gelatina. Ok, yellow. Eh, sí se llama yellow. Yellow. Ok. First, put in the back water. Then, Wait, first put in the back. Well, back. Bolsa? In the bag. 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 Okay. Uh, water. So then, I put, I, wait, wait, wait. So I put water in the bag. Yes. <laughs> Yellow. Yellow. <laughs> okay. Okay. Gelatina. Uh -huh. <laughs> but listen, you said I put the water in the bag. The bag is very small. Ice. Creo que piensa que es ice. Say ice. Sí. <laughs> Okay. No, no, yo entiendo, yo entiendo, por eso es que quiero que... Güey, antes que nada, sabes hacer gelatina, ¿no? Ah, no. Ah, ok. <risa> ok. Ah, o sea... ¿Ah? Hielo de gelatina. Sí, así sí, dice, hielo. Ah, ok. Ah, hielo. Ah, ok. El, el que color es yellow. yellow. No, no, primero es yellow. That's the color. La gelatina es yellow. Okay. Como decir yeso, pero con L, yellow. Okay, so go. Okay. Um, Wait, pero no la puedes hacer, ¿verdad? No, no conozco okay, el procedimiento. So, so then, okay, say, I can't make I, yellow. I can't make yellow. Okay. It is so, so simple. Who helps? Who, who can help Francisco? Um, I can make... Wait, wait. Hold on, Francisco. Nobody can make jello? Oh, I can. I don't like jello. Gelatina, right? Yes. You need one cup of hot water and one cup of cold water. <laughs> It depends on the, the, the size of the yellow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Okay. So let me see. Francisco, how do you make a Cuba Libre? Como? How do what? you make a Cuba Libre? <laughs> no, I, can, I can make that. You can't? Oh, you don't drink? No. Okay. Wait, let me now check. How do you make a mamazo? Mamazo is tortilla or salsa. Yes, and cheese. Okay. <clears throat> First, uh, um, First, I need uh, cheese, cheese tortilla. No, cheese is queso. Cheese, the tortilla. Tortilla. Uh, I need tortilla uh, and salt. Then, then mix, mix both and make a bowl. And mix, mix like mix, mix? make a bowl. Mix uh, or squish? Squish. Okay. Squish. Next, make a ball. And finally, eat. eat it. Okay, very good. So what happens if the tortilla is frozen? <laughs> First, I put in the microwave. I put in the microwave. No, but remember, in my muscle, first you need a tortilla recently made. Recién hecha, right? You need a yeah. very, very hot tortilla. Yeah. Yes. Then you get the cheese. Mm -hmm. Then you squish them together. Squish. Make a ball. And finally, eat it. You can make, you can make, you can add lemon. 
The lemon, yes. All right, cool, nice. Evelyn. Hi, Evelyn. Hi, Evelyn. How do you make lasagna? No, mentira, muy complicado. No, I go, I go fácil. Let me see. Evelyn, how do you make a elote loco, a crazy corn? Um, how do you say salcocha? Boiled corn. Boiled corn. Uh, then. Uh, food, uh, ketchup, uh, how do you say salsa negrita? Black sauce. Black, black sauce, um, mustard. Mustard and cheese. Mustard. <laughs> um, cheese. Cheese. I don't know how to say mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Okay, good. Thank you. Now remember, no solo se puede decir how do you make. You can say how do you eat. How do you eat? How do you yeah, eat? like how 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 do you eat sushi? Mm -hmm. I... Oh, you know, examples, yes. Okay, so Evelyn, please ask anybody. How do you make? How do you eat? How do you go? How do you sleep? Okay. If necessary, but first, then next, finally. Go, Evelyn. Um, uh, Carmen. Hello, hello, Evelyn. <laughs> <laughs> How do you, do you make rice? First, uh, you have first slice the vegetable. Chop. Next, chop. Chop. Sorry. Uh, first, you have to chop the vegetable. Second, mix the rice with vegetable, and next. Then. then sorry. Then. Para, ah. para, sabe que para eso sirve then. Then. Para no decir next, 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 next porque next. por lo visto usted nos va a dar unos cinco pasos. <laughs> ah, entonces, no, está bien, pero para no decir, first you, get, you chop the vegetables, next you mix the vegetables with the rice, next, next, no, entonces en vez de decir next, 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 diga then, 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 then. then, then, then. then. All right, okay. Mm -hmm. First, you chop the vegetables. Okay, good. So remember, class, chop is this. Chop, chop, chop. Chop, chop. Yes. Okay, first you, you chop the vegetable, then mix the vegetable with rice, then put the mix in a stove. Next, uh, boil the mix and wait, and finally uh, cook. Okay. Yes. Very good. All right, nice. <laughs> Quickly rice. <laughs> okay, okay. Right. Your turn. <laughs> okay. Um, ah, mire, no nos vayamos a complicar, por favor. No vayan a preguntar algo así. Bueno, la pre más que todo, la, la explicación es más difícil que la pregunta, porque si le dicen, how do you make pupusas? Oh, man. Yes. <laughs> si van a empezar este proceso, first you take the corn. You oh, blah, blah. Mejor, how okay. do you eat pupusas? Okay, your turn. Carmen, mm -hmm. ask somebody, please. Um, 
Okay, Roxana. Alvarado. Yes. How do, you, how do you make the a cup of tea? A cup of tea. Well, yes. um, first I boil the water. And then I uh, add the water in a cup. Cup is that's all right. Yes. Okay. Next, I put the little back of the tea. After that, I remove a little bit with a spoon. And finally, I start drinking slowly. All right. Okay, good. Next, your turn. Okay. Evelyn, I think. <laughs> Evelyn, Mariela. <laughs> Uh, how do you make pancakes? Have you ever done? Have you ever made no, banana pancakes? I when I think I can, but I don't remember how. <laughs> okay. Um, how do you make spaghetti? I put I put sugar on on my pasta. Really? Yes. Have you ever put the cream? Cream, I think cream. Yes. Cream. It's delicious. Put what? Uh, <laughs> Butter. Oh, crema. Cream. Oh, yeah. oh no, never. I never eat cream. Yeah. Wow. No, but you know, okay, yeah, with sp when I make pasta, spaghetti, when I make the sauce, like naturas or whatever, you know, you mix, you chop something, but when you're making it, put sugar. That's very good in the spaghetti. Really? Yes. <laughs> I try next. <laughs> Italian people put sugar on the, on the. Mm-hmm. Have you, nunca sentido que la pizza a veces se siente algo dulce, la salsa o algo? Yes. It's sugar. Le quita la acidez a la salsa de tomate. Exactly. Ah. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Roxana, your turn. No. Evelyn's turn. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, it's Evelyn's turn. Where is Evelyn? Who is next? Iris. Yeah, okay. Hi. Hi. Okay, Iris, attack somebody. <laughs> um, how do you make? Who, who, who? No. How, how do you eat? You eat Iris. Who, who? Oh. ¿A quién le está preguntando, Iris? Who? Ah, ah, ok. <laughs> Quiero ver. Daniel. Marvel. A Marvel, ok. Marvel. Marvel. No, Marvel no. Ok, so good. Ask Marvel, please. 
¿No está? Yes. Ay. Marvel. Hi. Hello. How, how do you eat pizza? How do you eat pizza? The pizza. Uh, it is... How do you say it? Partir? Excuse me? How do you say partir? Partir? Uh -huh. Place. Place. Ah, okay. Fish, uh, flies, uh, next, uh, nothing, cheese, uh, I eat eating. I don't, I'm sorry, I don't understand, Marvin. What, what? Um, repeat. Simple matter. How do you eat pizza? How do you eat pizza? How I eat oh. pizza with cheese, with chili, with my fingers. Some people with a slice. Uh, ¿Cómo come pizza, Marvel? Cuando come pizza, ¿cómo se la come? Uh, o sea, lo que quiero es don't complicate. Don't compl It's simple. Com I eat pizza with cheese. Yo conozco ah, gente. Okay. I eat pizza with ketchup. White cheese. Eh, se me olvida cómo decir partir este. Slice. Slice, ok. Eh, pizza, a cheese, slice y... No entiendo qué quiere decir, Marga, la verdad. Con queso y la corta. Al revés sería. Ok, quitemos lo de cortar, porque es, ya suponemos que ya la cortaron. Ah, right? Ok. So, ok, so I eat pizza. I eat pizza. Cheese. With cheese. With cheese. Uh -huh. And jalapeño sauce. So, jalapeño no. Uh, Do you like class? Do you like chili? No. You like you no you like chili. Okay, in the class, do you like chili? Yes, I like. I don't. Have you uh Francisco, have you ever tried trompa de chucho? <laughs> yes. Man. It's very strong. Sabes que con eso maté las termitas en mi casa. That Pasé eso, como 20 minutos sufriendo porque, porque es que no pica, quema, verdad? Like, quema, quema. That's es, 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 eso es lo peor que he probado en mi vida. <ríe> trompa, trompa, está el grosero, el grosero, whatever. Trompa de chucho, man. Es chile. Yes. Pero eh, bravo. <laughs> It's crazy. Oh, It's just... You know, one time, tenía termitas, puse baigón, que no sé qué, sal, whatever, y siempre me comían en el mueble. So one time, I got a trompa de chucho, and I put it in my hand, y lo puse abajo, under the table. Como dos horas después, se me empezó a dormir los dedos de la mano. Y yo estaba afligido porque era la mano izquierda. Y yo, oh my God, un ataque, corazón, me va a dar. Y, y no, iba a estar de el chucho. <ríe> Para que sepan, se imaginen qué tan fuerte es. Es very big. 
eh, pero son los que son rojos y delgaditos. No, no, es... es semi... Es similar to El Grosero, Jalisco, but the difference is uh -huh. Trompa de Chucho. There's a Rottweiler in the cover. Um, okay, Marvel. <laughs> oh, ahí, ahí está. Marvel, your turn. Ask somebody, please. Uh, yeah. Um... As Daniel. Daniel Palacios. Yes. How do you, how do you make, uh, pupusas? How, how do you make it pupusas? Or eating pupusas? I don't understand. How do you make or how do you eat? How do you eat? Good. How do you eat pupusas? Repeat. How do you eat pupusas? Very good. Daniel, how do you eat pupusas? Uh, fear. Uh, uh, echar, echar, ¿cómo se dice? I put. 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 I put books, uh, salsa, and um, curtido. Tomato sauce and curtido. Uh -huh. Then, then, um, then, a glass drink soda. And finally, it, 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 pupusa. You drink soda with pupusas, no hot chocolate or coffee? Um, uh, cuando hay mucho calor, um, yeah. bebida. Okay, good. Okay. This, this is how I eat pupusas. First, I open the pupusa. Yeah. Then, uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, then I eat the little cheese around. Oh. A la peña. No, no, you know the pupusa, I open it. Then I eat the cheese. El, el quemado. Anima, I mind and, the pupusas. Yeah. Wow. And, and, then, and then I wait. Because I don't like hot food. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't like hot food. You know, like, I, I don't like this. Like, oh man, I like to enjoy. So I open the pupusa and I wait maybe one minute. And then I eat. <laughs> Teacher, how do you eat crab? Crabs. Yeah. Oh man. I only eat the legs because it's too complicated. The legs. Yeah, it's yeah. really complicated. Yeah. So first I crack with my teeth and then I suck. And then yeah. I go with the next, with the next, with the next. Yeah, crab legs. That's it. Crab legs. Yeah. Crab legs. Pero solo una vez en mi vida he comido como cangrejos, o sea que las tenazas son bien grandes. Because aquí they're very small. San Pedro. Uh -huh. like, <laughs> yeah. All right, let me see. Um, okay. Daniel, ask somebody, please. Okay, uh, uh, Maria Stella. <clears throat> yes. Hi, Maria Stella. Hi. How do you eat um, garro? <laughs> uh, I I don't like garro. 
Me but, too, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> uh, first, um, I, I could with the uh, knife, knife. Um, I, uh, then I put chili. Uh, next, um, add, add the rice. And finally, eat. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Um, sorry. Okay. Uh, Alba. Ya le preguntaba. Hay que falta. Nidia. Hi. Uh, uh, how do you make uh, a sandwich? How do you make a sandwich? First, um, I put mayonnaise. Mayonnaise? Mayonnaise in the bread. Then I put a slice of cheese. Next, um, I put a lechuga, lechuga and tomato. And after that, I I toast the bread, and finally, I eat it. I eat in the sandwich. Excellent sandwich. Right. Yes. <laughs> you know, I I I put ketchup on tamales. Can, tamales. Yeah, sometimes I put ketchup on the top. Mm -hmm. It's good. Yeah, because you know, like when you go to Mr. Donut, yo detesto eso. When they serve the tamal and they cut it, mm -hmm. I don't like that because it's very bien incómodo comerlo así. So what I do is I I say no, please, please, I see the hamburger tamal. So what I do is, I get the tamal, I open, and I pull. Jalo la, la hoja. Mm -hmm. And I get the tamal full. <laughs> um, what do you need? I, I need to get my dewey. What do I need to do? First, go to the Dewey Center. First, you pay money in the bank. Yes. First, you pay oh, in the yes. bank. It first, oh. it's the, yeah. Then, and you make then, an appointment. You make an appointment online. And finally, you go, go, you go to the Dewey Center. <laughs> to the appointment in the Dewey Center. Mm -hmm. Like four minutes. All right. Do you understand? Yeah. yeah. Let me see. How do you make I <laughs> waste? Um. Toast. What is it? Tostar. Toast. Es tan fácil y yo siempre pensé que era complicado eso. Do you know how to make a waste? Se tuestan las pectorias. Okay. <laughs> Pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. Um, calabaza, right? Pumpkin de seeds. De semillas. Semillas de pepitorias. Semillas uh -huh. de pepitorias. Uh -huh. Calabaza. Ajá. Uh -huh. Put the so first seeds. you toast the pumpkin seeds. Toast the pumpkin seeds. And then uh, 
Ese se moler. Grind. Grind se escribe. G-R-I-N-D. Grind. 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 D. Pumpkin seed. Uh, and then you mix with salt, no? Mm. And then you mix the, the salt. I think I think you mix with salt. So you understand now the difference between first, then, next. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, teacher. So, you can use then. Yes. Yes, teacher. So then es como usar una coma. En vez de poner I, 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 mm -hmm. I. Yeah. So you say, okay, I'm going to go home. Then I'm going to take a shower. Then I'm going to eat. And then I'm going to sleep. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay, do you have any questions? No teacher. No teacher. Yeah, so remember it's always then, next. Finally. So here it says knowledge check. Which snack does this recipe describe? Antes que nada, ¿qué es snack? Bocadillo. Okay. Bocadillo. Ah, refrigerio, boquitas, prácticamente boquitas. Botán. Botán, Bota, uh -huh, snacks. Botán. Ok. Botán. When the kernels start to pop, shake the pan lightly. The third one. Popcorn. 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 Mm -hmm. Así se llaman los. El maíz individual, kernel. Crudito. Kernels. Mm -hmm. O sea, one, two, three, four, five kernels. Y ahí sería how much or how many kernels? How much? What is the difference between how much and how many? How many for countable nouns and how much for uncountable nouns? Okay. So kernels is countable or uncountable? Uncountable. So sería how many, right? Yes. How many? <laughs> no. How many? It's how much. No, because you have a back, ker ker back kernel, right? For the measure. You need a container to measure the kernels, a back okay. or a back. Mm -hmm. You see, the, the problem is kernels is similar to rice and beans. Yes. yes. Nadie en su vida ha dicho, hey, hoy cené 87 frijoles. Yes. <laughs> Hoy mi esposa me puso 110 granos de arroz. Nobody says that. Aunque los granos es contable. And the beans yes. is countable. Pero cae en la regla de no contable porque a veces es insignificante cortarlo. Incontable. Yes. That's why rice es mejor por cantidad. I ate one cup of rice, two cups of rice. Los frijoles enteros, I ate one cup of beans, two cups of beans. Yes, pero lo que van a decir, bueno, solo creo que mi hijo literalmente se come once frijoles, and that's it. <laughs> yeah, pero nadie dice eso. Oh, man, hoy cené 47 frijoles. Yeah. So, in this case, when the kernel starts to pop, Shake the pan. What is pan? The, the pan, yeah. So yes, it's popcorn. What is the last step in making guacamole dip? 
finally, finally a little, a little salt, pepper, uh, trompa de chucho. Sí. <laughs> what is the first step in making toasted bagel? Bagel is como un baguette. First cut in half. First cut in half. It is half. Mm -hmm. Second one. Second. Yes, because you're going to toast. Number which sequence adverbs are not interchangeable? First, first, and first and finally. finally. No, finally. First and finally. 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 Right. Two. All right, class, we passed. <laughs> so listen, what are you going to do this weekend? Do you have plans? No, Jared. I'm going to have a lunch with my some of my best friends. You're going to have lunch with your best friend. With some of my best friends. Mm -hmm. un plan o ya está confirmado? We confirmed. Entonces, good. ¿Se acuerda entonces ayer? Esto sería I will. I will. But, a teacher, uh, when I saw that video, I understood in a different way. That going to, when it's when you are sure you're going to do it, and will, it's when you are not uh, sure you're going to do it. No. That's, uh, I know, I know, but I, I am very sorry, but the video is wrong. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Because, because just I yeah, was imagine, like, I'm imagine. going to ask Fisher because <laughs> imagine, will you marry me? And your answer is yes, I will. Uh huh. And I'll say, I'm not sure. Oh, yes or no. So you are compromising. Yes. Entonces, Este fin de semana se está comprometida para esa cena. Obviamente puede yes. cambiar el plan. Tiene que ser algo muy importante para cambiar ese plan que ya tiene, porque ya está comprometida. Yes. Definitely. Yes. O sea, si alguien le dice, mira, que puedes ir al súper ese día. No, I can't. No. Nope. Why? Because I will have uh, ah, okay. lunch with my best friend. So yes. I will have lunch with my best friend. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Uh -huh. Uh, lo único que no, 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 no piensen que es tan exagerada la palabra comprometida que significa vida o muerte. No, simplemente que ese es su plan y va a estar bien difícil que usted cambie ese plan <ríe> por algo, <ríe> algo sencillo, ¿me entienden? Sí. Yeah. Uh -huh. Pero si ahora Ay. hubiera sido diferente, ah, unos cheros quieren salir a comer. No hay nada concreto, nada así, eso. Entonces ahí se puede decir, yeah, maybe I'm going to go, I'm going to eat, have lunch with my friends. When? I don't know, maybe Saturday or Sunday. You see, there is a plan, but there's no compromise. Okay, um, what about you, Evelyn? What are you going to do on the weekend? Maybe I'm going to have lunch with my partner. San Miguel. Yes. Ella no le da hueva ir. Yeah. Yes. Imagine drive two hours. <laughs> so you prefer your parents to come visit you. All right. What about you? Uh, anybody? Does anybody else yes. have? Special plans this weekend? Oh, I will pay my electricity bill this weekend. I, I will pay it. Anybody? 
I will stay at home. Oh, okay, nice. <laughs> because I have in in possibility. Yeah, what happened? Oh, what happened? Are you sick? Yeah. Yes. Do you have COVID? No. Yeah. Oh man, you have COVID? But not 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 mm. serious. Oh. Uh, yes, in the last week, very sick. But now it's it, I am I am better. I recommend you, Maria Stella, please listen to the doctors only. Okay. Yes, because I I had COVID in Enero. And it's Sí o no, ya le llamó gente diciendo, mira, no, no, no. Agarras orégano y un poquito de sal y pum, pum, pum. Y hay otro que llama que con miel y esto, pum, pum. O hay, hay unos que están en más campeones que dicen, no, eso no es COVID. Mira, eso es un invento de, de los gringos porque quieren controlar. Eso es tos, eso se quita. You know, whatever. No, no. yo fui... Yo fui y sí me dieron todo el tratamiento y aparte de eso ya había ido al médico particular también y ya me dio incapacidad del seguro, pero ya pasé. La semana pasada que no me conecté fue porque sí estaba muy, muy mal, pero ya, ya siento que ya pasó. Mire, y le dio dolor ya de vamos. cuerpo. Eh, de todo, de todo. Eso, pero yo más no que todo el dolor fue... de cuerpo. Ay, no fue más que todo, no podía respirar este que ni hablar. La, okay. Por eso no me conecté los, unos días, pero eh, me tomé todo el medicamento y todo lo que me dieron y sí, ya, ahorita ya me faltan tres días de incapacidad ya para terminar. Y sabes que dicen, o sea, los doctores decían que uno de los problemas más grandes era la diabetes. O sea, la gente que es diabética tiene bastantes probabilidades que le va a afectar más que a otros. Entonces, sí. por eso se enojan los doctores sí. cuando decían, no, mira, agarras dos cucharadas de miel, le echas limón, bla, 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 y te lo tomas. Porque los doctores y dicen de que... No, y el problema es que los doctores dicen de que la mayoría de gente que tiene diabetes nunca saben. Sino hasta que de repente van a una cita y, ¿qué? Es diabético. Sí, y no viene gente, ajá, y viene gente que no tiene experiencia en medicina y vienen y se echan y, y les empiezan a aconsejar gente que está enferma sin saber sus antecedentes. Sí, es mejor ir al médico. Yo escuché al médico, yo, yo llamé al, al 231, whatever. Solo yo le hacía caso. No, eh, eh, yo sí fui, pero me dieron todo el tratamiento en el seguro. Ah, ok. A mí, a mí me lo mandaron. Ajá. Dos veces me mandaron. Sí. Era mejor. Bueno, pero me examinaron y todo. ¿verdad? Sí, o sea, está bien. Fue mejor. Y a mí me llamaban sí. como tres veces al día. So, it's cool. Mm, sí, sí. Sale mejor porque al ir uno no lo están llamando. Yo cuando me empecé pero a sí desesperar, pienso ir. cuando perdí el olfato. Ah, no me ha vuelto. Tengo ya más de 15 días y no me vuelve. A mí me pasó eso. Y... Ni, ni gusto. Ah, Nada. De... Ay, ah, esto no, es... no se ha desesperado aún. No, ¿cómo? Yo Así sí, porque no yo ya estaba bien. Que... Al final yo ya estaba bien. O sea, no sentía todo ni nada. Ah, y respiraba no. bien y no podía hueler. Entonces, cuando me bañaba, agarraba el jabón y, y, y me daba cólera que no podía hueler nada, nada, nada. Nada, Pero... nada. <risa> Mi sabor. Mi Ajá. sabor, las dos cosas. Pero no, tengo paciencia y me tiene que volver. Yeah. Yo pasé cinco meses sin oler ni saborear. Ah. Oh my God, really? Y yo llevo como 15 días. No, pero yo siento oh, que shit, ya me yo siete días. Five months. months. Oh man. Ay, no, qué horrible. No sentir el sabor de las comidas. Es horrible. Y, y verdad que es cuando mejor cuidan a alguien. A mí, mis vecinos, mis tías, todos me mandaban sopas, ramen y todo. Y... 
Es que solo sopa dan ganas de tomar. No, y me mandaban, como iban a comer comida china y me mandaban sopa, yo, oh, man. Ah, nada se no, siente. Nada, nada se sentía. Cuando uno está bueno, no mandan nada. <risa> Pero ya, ya salimos, gracias a Dios. Uh -huh. No, miren, lo, lo que aprendí es antes de irnos, fíjense que mi hermano es médico y el estudio, él es epidemiólogo. Y lo que aprendí del COVID es de que no importa que también esté usted en su condición física, pero le afecta mucho por sus antecedentes familiares. Y hoy tiene lógica, porque a mí el doctor siempre me pregunta, la primera vez me pregunta, ¿y tu familia padece de esto? Esto, esto, yo, no, 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 no. Y me decía, ¿puedo respirar? Sí, pero fíjese que tengo un dolor que no aguanto aquí. En el... Ok, sí, pero ¿puedes respirar? Sí, pero mire, ya ni puedo levantar el brazo. Ok, whatever, pero ¿puedes respirar? Ellos solo les importaban si podía respirar o no. Y hoy ya entiendo que lo que ellos estaban haciendo es como, ah, eso es normal, eso es normal, eso es normal. Lo que a ellos les preocupa es si uno puede respirar o no. Sí. Yo, y, ajá, sí. y me dicen, yo no sé, porque me, si das 10 pasos, te cansas. Yo, sí, ok. Pum, ahí es cuando ya me empezaron a hablar más seguido. Siempre te cansas a los 10 pasos. Y después ya ni sabía qué decir, si sí o no. Porque ya sentía que me iban a mandar una ambulancia. Entonces, eh, mm. y lo que dijo mi hermano es, y es cierto, ya lo comprobé. Si usted ve hasta atletas, han muerto en perfecta condición uh -huh. física, pero vaya, por ejemplo, uh -huh. esas enfermedades de diabetes o enfermedades de, de respira, si en su familia lo ha tenido, bien, me, bueno, mi hermano me dijo así, fíjate y ojalá, pero si algún día conoces a alguien que se murió de COVID, es bien, bien probable que un familiar inmediato se va a morir también, si le da. Y dicho y hecho, porque, por ejemplo, mi esposa tiene dos personas que ella conoce. Se murió una amiga y el papá. A otro se murieron dos hermanos, donde mi papá se murieron tres, el tío y dos hermanos. Y me acuerdo lo que me dice mi hermano, y tiene, tiene lógica. Son por antecedentes. Entonces, si ustedes tienen un familiar inmediato que les dio eso y les dio fuerte, cuídense. Porque es bien probable que ustedes les va a dar igual por la genética. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ay, sí. No, no como toda esa gente estúpida que le fue a poner eh, serenata a México. Lo vieron sin mascarillas. Sí, eso va a resultar en un... Ojalá le lleven serenata a ellos en la vela. Un tremendo. Sí, es que lo triste es de que, pues, qué que bien que uno se muriera, pero va a y hasta niños se están contagiando, bebés. Sí, hay bastantes en el Bloom que están a, bien graves. Lo que... A mí me gustaría realmente que el gobierno volviera a cerrar el país. Porque si ustedes se dan cuenta, estamos igual que hace un año. Los mismos contagios al día, lo único que ya no nos importa. Ya, ya ni vemos. Hey, ¿Cuántos hoy? ¿Se acuerdan antes? 10 diarios, 10 diarios, 11 diarios, 20 diarios. Hoy oh, ya pasamos 100 diarios y no nos importa. O sea, hoy estamos mucho es peor que hace un año. Sí, sí. es peor porque uh -huh. ya, no se, ya no están las medidas re, y, y tampoco las personas ya no tienen temor. Ajá. Entonces sí me gustaría, si esto, porque eh, eh, como oigo las noticias todos los días, no me molestaría si voy a cerrar el, el, el todo otra vez. Pero va a ser un caos. <ríe> ¿Ya? No entonces, creo que cierre. Sí, entonces cuídense, ok, si, si conocen. Gracias. Sí. Ya. Gracias. Ya, y escuchen un médico. Man. Sí, no, estoy en control, sí, porque gracias a Dios ya, ya salimos. A mí me da lástima de la gente que hay en el en los pueblos o cantones que aún creen en curanderos. Oh, que me imagino que ahí deben de vender ya medicina para el COVID. Oh. Eh, es mejor sí. echar a los expertos. Ajá, no, yo le, eso fue cuando, cuando le pregunté a mi hermano y le dije, mira, ¿y por qué? Sé que tiene, o sea, las mieles buenas, es que no es eso, me dice. 
la, la diabetes es uno de los problemas más grandes que hay en sí. El noventa y pico de por ciento de gente que tiene diabetes no lo sabían que lo tenían. Hasta que de repente, por casualidad, mire usted diabético. Se dieron cuenta por casualidad que fueron a una cita. O ya se sentían mareados. Mire doctor, que tengo exámenes o usted diabético. Entonces viene gente, estás enfermo y te dicen no. Todos los días, dos veces en la mañana, dos veces en el mediodía, dos veces en la tarde. Toma tres cucharadas de miel con limón y sal, pum, pum, y te curas. ¿En qué va a curar eso? Si vos sos diabético, te estás matando ahí. Yo, ah, ok, tiene lógica. Okay. Y es cierto. Entonces, lo mejor que hice es escuchar a... a... Ah, si sí, hasta tenía gente tonta que me llamaba y me decía, mira, eso es un complot. Ni hagas caso, hombre. ¿verdad? No tomes nada, ya vas a ver que todo va a estar bien. Ah, uh ya. -huh. Yeah. Yo de eso les decía, mire, yo me he enfermado antes, pero nunca me he enfermado así. Nunca he perdido el gusto o el olfato sin tener fiebre o nada, porque ya estaba bien. Nunca he tenido ese dolor de cuerpo horrible, esa fiebre. Nada. Entonces, sí, cuídense y acuérdense eso de que si a un familiar de ustedes inmediato le está, cuídense porque... Pueda que le dé a usted igual. Ok. So, okay. have a very good okay. weekend. Okay. María Estela, ojalá mejore. Gracias. Have a good weekend. 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 Have a great weekend. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. You too. Bye-bye.